That's charming. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. It's basically this. Repeat, 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 all while dealing with this. Stop it, stop. All right, well, we are currently sitting outside the community aid. It is very, very super busy because it is half off Wednesday and everybody goes crazy for half off Wednesday, which I don't really understand because you know what? It's super cheap anyway. But anyway, um, it was really hard getting a parking space. Um, for those of you who don't know, community aid is basically like a Salvation Army. Um, but anyway, we're gonna head in. We're gonna look and see if we can find any deals. Um, my main purpose for going to Community Aid today is actually to get digging pants. And you guys are probably like, well, what are digging pants? Because I know a lot of you, I've been getting like a ton of subscribers. I don't know where you all are coming from. If you wanna tell me in the comments how you found this channel, it would be awesome. Um, but I actually have a secondary channel that's a lot bigger than this one. Um, I do a lot of metal detecting and that's kind of like a part-time job for me. And now Next week, I'm leaving for Europe for like 12 days. It's gonna be a really long trip. I'm gonna try to continue to post videos while I'm over there, um, but I think I'm gonna have to cut back from two to two a week to just one a week because it's gonna be just lots of all over the place. Uh, we're gonna be in the Netherlands for a little while. We have a rally in Italy we're gonna go to. Um, so I'm gonna be traveling a lot. I'm not sure what the Wi-Fi is gonna be like or any of that. So anyway, enough about that channel because this is my fun channel and this is about fun stuff anyway um so today i'm really i'm going in to find some digging jeans because i don't see any sense in buying brand new jeans um to get dirty it just doesn't make any sense to me so that's what we're here for but we're on the hunt for some other goodies as well who knows who knows maybe they're just trying to restock the shelves so quickly that they're just throwing really valuable stuff out there for cheap you just never know all right, that being said, let's go see what we can find. Well, we have some milk glass vases that are not worth much, but a lot of wedding people love these for their tables at their weddings. The girl in front of me is picking as well. <laughs> now these actually want to be Pyrex, however, they are not. <laughs> these are glass bake. They are nowhere near as valuable as Pyrex. So we're gonna keep walking. More glass bake down here. And here, and here. False graph. other pickers by the stuff that they are looking at so I kind of had to like cruise there really quickly and just kind of grab stuff and throw it in my cart um, without even really looking at it first so I've already got some stuff in my cart I'm going to show you real quick what I grabbed um, this right here is a vintage child's suitcase it's in really good condition um, it's got some scuffs and some scratches but you know that's a condition of age Right there. This right here is worth about 25 bucks. Vintage suitcase. And you know what? I actually didn't look inside. See, if Sue was here, she would have been like, did you look inside? But I'm, I'm solo today, so you know what? There's going to be like kit, like gum and like all gross stuff. You know what? The inside condition is really good. All right. So there you have it, Sue. She's probably watching this video and she's like, I'm so proud of you. Um, <laughs> it's like a $25 suitcase right there. And also these little perfume bottles. Ew, I didn't even see the price on that. It's cute, it's carnival, but I don't know if it's worth that much. Ugh, I'm gonna have to think about that, but I'm gonna drive around with it in my cart just because I don't want anyone else to get it because I'm just gonna be like that. <laughs> this one's only four, which is kind of silly that one would be marked eight and one would be marked only four, but um, all right, let's keep going. 
Check out what I just found. <laughs> uh, 50 bucks. All right then. I always check for old quilts and I'm not seeing any here. This is kind of cute though, isn't it? That is cute, but um, it's not an old quilt, so we're gonna keep going. I'm really loving this little vase and it's not marked. Um, but it's really, I love the way, I love the flower, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I love the green and the contrast of the orange, so it's going in the cart as well. Uh, these little guys, you know, um, uh, I think I'm gonna put them back. No, you know what, I'm still gonna ride around with them. I'm not putting them back yet, not yet. <laughs> Well, he is pretty cool. What is he? Okay. <laughs> There's nothing special about baskets. We were just looking for any antique baskets, like buttocks baskets or anything of that nature. I'm not seeing any though. They're all just lame, stupid baskets. <laughs> now let's go look at all the stuff they think is valuable. That's always a fun laugh. I think I need him, to be honest. Um, we'll just stick him in the cart because he's fun. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. It's all modern, modern, lame jewelry. I'm not really seeing a whole lot here. There's some Pure One imports. To maneuver my way around this lawnmower and we'll keep going. All right. We got some 75th anniversary Fenton. No, I don't know if that's actually 75th anniversary. It might be Westmoreland or something to that effect, but it's totally lame and it's not worth a thing. Um, looks like some Murano glass in there. I could be wrong about that. Shoes. That lamp, which I would never buy, and I'm even the crazy lamp lady. Um, a giant Rolex that would never fit on my list. <laughs> Some knockoff bags. And an instrument. That was kind of a letdown, wasn't it? Weed whimsies. There's only a few of those that are worth money. I don't usually bother. All right, I'm gonna try to film real quick. Um, I'm gonna put the perfume things back. That baby is like out of control. And the mother is laughing. I mean, I have children, I get it. But there comes a point where it's like, it's time to leave, you know? Um, so we're gonna put the perfume things back. I know there's a reason I don't get perfume things and I think it's because they're not worth much unless you know what you're doing. bit about a lot of stuff but I don't know a lot about perfume things so they're going back on the shelf that's charming <laughs> hmm. 
Now, I did add this guy to the cart. I don't think I got him on video. Oh. He, I'm probably gonna hoard him until uh, Christmas time. He sold for about 50 bucks in September, but I think if we hoard him for a little bit longer, he might sell for like 60, I don't know. But he's definitely worth more than. Dun, dun, dun. $5.99. I don't think he's broken. No, that's not broken. Yeah, there's no chips or cracks, so he'll be good. That baby is still crying. The baby is still crying. Gosh, the baby is still crying. All right, I think that pretty much completes today's video. We are the next in line, so um, I'll catch you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Crazy Lamp Lady, and if you happen to spot something that you just can't live without, I've put a link to our Etsy store down in the description.